During a supervisory visit, you observe an immunization session at a facility in your district. What should you look for to make sure health workers are using safe and effective practices? As a district or subnational manager, a key part of your role is to ensure safe vaccine administration practices. Safe vaccine administration does not harm the recipient, does not expose the health worker to any avoidable risk, and does not produce any waste that is dangerous for the community. You will also evaluate how health workers conduct the session and interact with caregivers. To evaluate an immunization session, you will observe how health workers set up the vaccination site, prepare for vaccination, administer vaccines, discard materials, communicate with caregivers, and record information. We will review specific tasks you might observe at each part of a session. First, evaluate how health workers set up the immunization site. Is there a sheltered or shaded waiting area for caregivers and a separate station for registration and screening? Is there a separate station to administer vaccines? Is there a clean table to prepare each injection to avoid contamination? Are there two chairs for the health worker and caregiver and a hand washing station? Are the AD and reconstitution syringes, immunization cards, tally sheets and other supplies kept within reach? Are vaccines and diluents kept in a vaccine carrier with prepared ice packs on or near the table? Are safety boxes correctly assembled and kept on or near the table? And is there an adverse event following immunization or AFI kit available? Next, make sure the health worker has safely prepared each vaccine for administration. As a first step, did the health worker assess the eligibility of each infant for vaccination? Did she assess based on age, vaccines received per the immunization card, and vaccines needed per the immunization schedule? Did she check to see if there were any contraindications or reasons for withholding the vaccination? This includes asking about known allergies and previous adverse reactions to the vaccine. Before preparing each vaccine, did she wash hands with soap and water and dry them? Next, did she safely prepare the vaccines for each child individually without pre-filling syringes? Did she check if vaccines are safe to use? Did she check vials for VVM and the expiry date and did she follow the multi-dose vial policy? Did she use only auto-disable or AD syringes for each injection? And when preparing vaccines, did she keep the vials in the foam pad inside the carrier? Observe how the health worker reconstitutes any lyophilized vaccines. Did she use the correct matched diluent? Did she use a new sterile syringe and needle to reconstitute each vaccine? Did she pierce the septum or rubber cap of the multi-dose vial with a sterile needle? Note that they should never leave a needle in the vial stopper. Next, observe the health worker as she administers the vaccines. Did she position the child correctly to minimize the risk of movement and needle stick injuries? Did she wash the child's skin at the injection site with water if it was visibly dirty? And did she administer each vaccine using the correct technique and injection site? Be sure to consider the type of vaccine and the child's age. Then, confirm that the health worker is safely discarding used materials. After each injection, did she immediately discard the used needle and syringe into the safety box? Note that needles should not be recapped after injection. Did she place empty vaccine vials, cotton and other materials in a rubbish bin? These items should not be placed in the safety box. Did she close the safety box when it was three quarters full? To avoid the risk of a needle prick, safety boxes should not be overfilled. Throughout the session, 
Observe how health workers communicate with each caregiver. Are they patient and respectful, politely answering to any concerns of the caregivers? Are they assessing the infant's eligibility for vaccination by using the immunization card and talking to caregivers? Do they explain the purpose and possible side effects of each vaccine with advice on how to handle them? Are they reminding caregivers when and where to return with the immunization card? Remember, during an immunization session, it is best not to give feedback in front of a caregiver unless the child's safety is at risk. Finally, evaluate how health workers record immunization data. Did they complete the immunization register for each child before they moved to the vaccination area? Did the vaccinator mark the tally sheet after administering the vaccine? Did she fill in the child's immunization card with the date for each vaccination and the date for the next immunization? You should now know how to evaluate vaccine administration practices during an immunization session.